spring has sprung, and there's lawn work that needs to be done. I'm Eric Novak, and coming up on this review, I'm going to take a look at the Ego Power Plus 21 inch cordless electric lawnmower. Just like there's many different ways to skin a cat, there's many different ways to cut a lawn. Depending upon the size of lawn or the preferences you have for cutting it, you can use a push mower to a gas powered motor to a quarter electric or even a cordless electric lawn mower. In my case, I have a rather large yard with a bunch of obstacles in it. We have four trees, a light uh, standard, a traffic sign, and even a mailbox. For the last several years, I've had a corded electric mower with a 100-foot extension cord, and to be honest, it got pretty cumbersome trying to negotiate everything front, side, and back of the yard. I've never wanted to personally make a choice to move to a gas mower, being, of course, I want to minimize my overall environmental footprint while cutting the grass, and obviously a push mower for the size of my yard is way too big. I've always been interested in a cordless lawnmower, but up until now I've seen battery, uh, the, the ones out in the market have had batteries, maybe not as much as I would need for the size of my yard. So I've just been introduced recently to the Ego Power Plus 21 inch cordless lawnmower. It has a 56 volt battery, high lithium, with all the torque they claim that you'd see in a gas mower. And I was really interested to learn more about it and give it a try. So I reached out to them to ask if I could do a review here on envirodad.com. They said yes. So here we go. Let's see how this Ego Power Plus lives up to the test. Okay, so uh, the Ego 21 inch mower comes in a box like this. It's pretty heavy and substantial, but everything should be inside. Uh, the battery is what you got to get charged up before giving this a whirl. So let's open it up and let's see how uh, easy or challenging it is to put together. Okay, so I've uh, taken everything out of the box and it was actually quite easy. I'm surprised how few parts there were. The main mower unit was actually basically all intact. Uh, the, it was folded down and the handle uh, moves up pretty easily. I'm quite surprised and happy about that. So I have to charge up the battery before I can use it. This 56 volt uh, lithium battery gets plugged here into the charger unit. It says it will charge up in under an hour. I'm going to do that now and we'll see if I get some time to mow today. Uh, it looks like we might get some rain, so we'll see if I can, but let's charge it up first and uh, see how long it takes. Well, the rain did fall yesterday as I brought the battery in to get charged up, so as feared, I wasn't able to actually start using it until today. However, the battery uh, did charge up as promised in under an hour. Actually on the charger unit itself, it says it's a 30 minute charge time. Now admittedly, I wasn't watching it to the minute, uh, but I plugged it in and about an hour later, I went down to check on it and it was fully charged. So I have no reason to believe that's not true. So now that we have a charged up battery, we have to take it from the uh, storage position and get it ready to mow. To do so, it seems pretty simple. If from the storage position, there is a handle here on the side that you just push in which then raises the uh, arm to one of three different positions, including a uh, fourth one for a bag on uh, the back, which you could use, but I'm not. I'm gonna use the mulching feature. To put in the battery, you simply uh, lift up the uh, compartment and then line up the battery so that we are featured in here. Push it down until you hear it snap and seal it shut. Now we're just about ready. We're charged up and getting ready to go. Now before I begin cutting, I want to set the cut height. And here on the Ego, there is a side uh, adjustment lever here where you can bring the blade height up and down from one to six inches. Obviously you want to set it depending upon uh, the conditions of the grass and the settings. Make sure it's, you never want to cut too low because that can burn the grass. So set the right height just through here. It's simple push up and down. And I'm going to set mine to a good spring height. And uh, from height wise, we're almost ready to go. 
So with the battery in place, starting it up is pretty simple. It's a two-part process. There is a safety button here and a bail switch. And I'm gonna just angle up here to not uh, get on the grass, but what you do is you simply press on the safety button, pull up the bail switch, and as you can hear, we've got a motor. To stop, you just have to release the bail switch, and within three seconds, it stops. That simple. So with the battery installed, the cut height set, all it's really left to do now to review this thing is to actually start cutting the grass. Let's see how it goes. One and two. So after my first experience with the Ego 21 inch cordless lawnmower, I get to give you my thoughts. And honestly, I quite like it. The biggest impediment for me in the past, as I said, was having a large yard with a lot of obstacles to work around and they corded more like I had before. I was always getting stuck and it took me a lot longer to cut. I noticed right away how I was unencumbered and I could move pretty easily around the yard, even with the obstacles there. And I probably wound up saving about five or 10 minutes for my cut time overall, maybe even more. In terms of runtime, I had this running for probably about 20, 25 minutes, and by the battery check, the green light remained fully lit, which means it had at least 15% of its charge remaining, probably even more. The quality of the cut is pretty good too. The mulcher worked just fine, and, and just as an aside, I know this has a rear bag uh, holder, but really, you always want to mulch. Mulching is better for the lawn, it provides nutrients, and besides, many municipalities, including the one that I live in, are either frowning upon or outright banning having lawn clippings in your yard waste bag, so just mulch, keep it that way. Overall, I think for people who are looking for a cordless mower because of all the advantages it offers, you might want to give this Ego a try. I quite like it, and I think he will too. That's it for this review. For EnviroDad.com, I'm Eric Novak. Thank you for watching. If you like this review, we've got more of them, both written and video, at www.envirodad.com. There's also a Facebook page for you to like, and you know what? We're even doing Twitter as well.